Hello, Scorpio and Ross watches a lake. <coughs> Ew, that was gross. Anyway, sorry, I'm sick. Anyway, welcome to the mid February to March reading of this current year, Scorpio. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts if this resonates with you. Cue. If not, you just poop your nose, way it goes. No point worrying about you. They ain't got nothing to do with you. It ain't none of your damn business unless you're nosy like I am, Scorpio. And Scorpio, you're reading this month. I don't know who is this, but this is like immediately when I laid down the first row with the dolly cards and my new cards. I love them. The pretty, mwah, very dramatic. Um, I was laying these cards out and sitting here like this is a revenge plot. And then I lay down like my writer waiting. This is like this is a revenge plot gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally like why you should not perform revenge on people. This one, I'd like, I feel like someone didn't know what they were capable of, right? So let's go through this really quick, Scorps, because this is either you who try to do some revenge on some petty shit, because that's what I feel like. I feel like there's some petty shit involved here, because I don't see anywhere where it indicates what the fuck happened yet, which I always think is like, huh, that's interesting. Which means that, like, it was probably wasn't as serious as someone took it to me. But I feel like that person was in, like, a crime of passion kind of vibe, you know? Kind of like... I feel this way, so now you need to feel this way, right? But it was just like, what the fuck? It's like the action was... It was like whatever happened was so petty that, like, this person isn't even bringing it up anymore. So it's definitely someone who might have went and did something they really shouldn't have had their nose into, right? Something didn't grow the way they thought it would. It's like they thought that their plan was enough to boost them up. Nope, just kept them in a very bad, 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 bad headspace. For reals, right? Down below, we got the emperor in this situation. He is reversed, right? He don't look too bad at all. Not shabby. Lots of red. Looks like he's pretty bloody. Yeah, this person was kind of a control freak. And also, we got his counterpart, the Empress, who's also reversed right here. And she is not happy with him. Let's point that out here. Whatever he did, she's not fucking happy with his ass. And he doesn't have very many options to choose from. In fact, he's probably completely confused about how to get away from this situation, right? Like I said, with the fears of rejections, this empress, his counterpart, or whatever the fuck she is, she is not happy whatsoever. Either that, or this is like a fake empress trying to establish herself as an emperor or some shit, right? I don't know. But um, the wants and wishes up here, someone's trying to make some magic happen with their wish fulfillment. And they got their wish, and now they're like, just like, holy shit, what the fuck did I just do? What did I do? What did I, what did I do? Um, this is why it feels like a revenge plot gone wrong, right? The Wheel of Fortune with the Eight of Wands. Wheel of Fortune's reversed. It's like everything's stuck. The wheel isn't turning. There's no more time. And time is ending very swiftly for this person. Time's running out. And it's coming quick, you know? How shit starts, how it'll end. Someone is really, 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 really sad and they can't get over that shit because they had a nasty fucking attitude about everything, right? Here, Scorps and Scorp cross watchers alike, we have the Three of Swords. Look at how dramatic this shit is. With like snakes and waters and a bitch just tied up like she's getting sacrificed to a fucking titan or monster or whatever with this person trying to come in and save them. But it might just be too late and all that stuff. Like, look, what are the swords are going into the dude's back, right? trying to save a motherfucker who looks like they're in distress, but in reality, you know, she's just bait for the monster to get, like, some food. And she puts on a show, and it's just like, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow at five, Frank. Is it five or is it four? It's four, Danielle. Just make sure you're nude this time. We don't want to, like, have to take your clothes off of you to take some time for lunch. Okay, I'll see you later, Ted. You know, like, you know, it, it's like a setup. Trying to make someone look like a hero. I want to leave them to their death. However, this entire scenario right here is what happens after you fuck it up, you know? Hmm. So let's see Scorpio and Crosswatchers. What is this person's little ploy right here? Hello, Fats. I see you come down the stairway. 
licking that belly before you drag it out over my floor, being that squish, squish, squish. Sorry, my fat man descended down the ladder. Anyway, oh, your vibration and energy, y'all. Oh, hello, fat. Oh, you don't want me. You want your food, fat bastard. Oh, you don't love me. It's whatever. All right. With this energy, right? Someone's got a bad judgment call. Or they made a bad judgment call on everything they tried to construct. With their little web, right? Like, I don't know what this person was thinking, Scorpio and Cross Watchers. But I think they, they really were underestimating how everything was going to come together. You know, like, you could plot and scheme all goddamn day. Um, you know, communism and socialism and capitalism all sound good on paper. But once you start implementing the shit and putting it in, human nature just throws all the rules out the fucking window. Human nature just, like, I don't know. It's like this person had a perfect plan. But as soon as they involved the people they wanted to involve them in, it was like they couldn't control them. Or they couldn't control the outcome, is what I'm feeling. The Emperor reversed with the lack of options with the Seven of Cups reversed. Both reversed, right? Oh, and they probably were an ultimate douchebag about it, too, because the King of Swords is reversed right here, too. I forgot he was out here. So, whoever this Emperor person is that this Empress is pissed at, um... She has every reason to be pissed because of this energy right here. Just it's all entire in this row. You know. This person was the one who caused all this shit to happen, Scorpio Crosswatcher. They did this. Okay, see, look at when I still did the twin flame things, right? Before I realized twin flames were stupid. These are the most beautiful cards ever to me. Because it's like two actual people of the same integrity, energy, abilities, just on opposite ends of the spectrum, right? However, what this magician tried to manipulate with this um, devil card could be with a Capricorn devil, could be having Aries all over the place, Scorpios and Cross Watchers, but whatever this person tried to do to either this Capricorn or this devil integrity, um... Like, if this was a Capricorn, I'll tell you right now, they probably took that shit, turned themselves upside down, and threw it back out and used it as their own energy, you know? Like, me as a Capricorn, I will say, negative shit actually feeds me. Like, I, I, I can eat that shit, and it helps me out. It just gives me a boost, you know, if you will. It's kind of like a shaman thing, you know? But it's like... I don't know, it's like whoever this was, or whatever this person was trying to do, um, definitely removed him out of a situation where like the relationship was bad. I just don't think that they, they, they went about it the way that they thought it would go down, you know? I don't think they thought, oh, well, this isn't going to be too fucking bad. No, 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 it went worse than what you thought it would. Actually, it came out backwards or upside down. Like, it worked. But now it's like, it got eaten and now it's being used for something else. The wants and wishes right here. What's this? Nine of cups with the nine of swords. Someone was waiting for a message. No, nine of cups. That's the nine of cups with the nine of swords. Someone wanted a wish fulfillment and they got it. And now they're dreading it. Hmm. They want to send out words or send out a message or maybe they're hoping for a message to come to them, Scorpion Cross Watcher. No, no, they're running out of time. They're running out of time with Wheel of Fortune. They thought people were going to go, come send them something. They're wrong. If they think that they got time to, like, fuck off before sending anything, they're definitely wrong. Um, obstacles and challenge, which is Empress being pissed at the Emperor for his bullshit. He said they're trying to look cool, but he's already got, like, his card up with negativity. We got the King of Swords here, which means he was a double Dutch chocolate douchebag right here. You know, look. Look. <laughs> there he is again. Just me, like, what? That wasn't me. Mm. This person might just take the emperor's position and make the decision for him since he fucked himself, pretty much. Let's 
see. Ask, uh, no. Yeah, let's do another one of the obstacles and challenges, because I'm curious. Oh, yeah. So, Scorpion Crosswatcher, you could be this empress who's all pissed off at this person, but you're probably going to take this person's position and make the decision to cut them off. Just cut them right off. Send your butterflies of death to the King of Swords over here. Be like, we're done. We're over with. I'm sick of your shit, you know? Fears and rejections, right? The Wheel of Fortune reversed with the Eight of Swords. Time is running out and very quickly, and this person's aware of it. You know, there was harmony and shit, but there needs to be communication and healing. Actually giving an offer of love with a lot of more maturity than what they have, or else they could just sit there and whine about it. And they probably will whine about it, because I feel like Scorpio and Crosswatcher, you're probably cutting them out as the Queen of Swords. Just being like, no. Or someone's doing this to you because you're playing this shit. One of the two, right? Give me go either or. Just fit it wherever it needs to be. So let's see. Yeah, someone's not happy being single and having to occupy them own selves. <laughs> Aww. This person's lonely. That's what happens when you do dumb shit, man. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, there's heartbreak right here, all dramatic. It's like bait. Setting somebody up for failure, you know? Hmm. Like, they're trying to portray their music maker, almost. Like, I'm not happy being by myself, but I'll make it look like I'm happy. I got all my pets and shit. People cling to me like I am a mother, and I am significant, and I am free. Like, this person's got a front. For sure. Like, putting up like they're not worried about it, but in reality, they are, because I don't think they like being alone. Right, what was this last one? The Four of Cups reverse with this King of Swords. Ugh, that attitude, that mouth. Like they're gonna be coming up with hostility because they're all upset. Because, you know, their sneaky shit didn't work. <laughs> yeah, definitely, like, the hell not to revenge 101, you know. Mm. Yeah, it's like they're trying to shy away. Like, they're gonna protect themselves with the Four of Pentacles over their sneaky shit. Like, the, if you try to have a conversation with this person, Scorpion Crosswatcher, you probably know exactly what the fuck they did. Right? You probably know. You probably knew before they even started their shit what they were going to fucking do. You know, as Capricorn would say, way, except I've been fucked over by enough people to know what people are capable of doing. You just know how fucking negative you can be, and that's what gives you the advantage of figuring out what people are going to do behind your back and shit, right? But this person was completely unaware, or they weren't paying attention, or they were just so in their emotions and their ego... That um, they didn't think about the consequences, and now they're going to have a bad attitude to secure themselves. Oh my goodness. Alright. Ending thing with this heartbreak. Knight of Wands. The reverse. Hmm. All these cards look the same, because I could have swore this was like the Nine, not the Knight. Ugh. I don't think their performance holds very well. Scorpios and Cross Watchers. Because, you know, the Knight of... The Knight. 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 Knight of Wands. He's usually my booty man card. He'll do any action or perform anything just to get that booty. You know, the nicest person in the world is a man trying to get in your pants the very first time. Right? Right. Here, it's like his performance just doesn't do the job. Like, nobody's falling for it. Like, if this person's going to act like a victim... Scorpion and Cross Watchers, and nobody's falling for it, and nobody's that stupid to their, um, behavior, you know. Which is what I like about you, Scorpio. Like, you guys have more respect for people and who they are than anything. You know, the best way to disrespect the Scorpio is to be a two-faced motherfucker, but if you show a, a Scorpio that, they're an a that you're an asshole, and you don't give a fuck if people like that or not, a Scorpio will have the utmost respect for you, because they do the exact same thing. Sometimes. Depending on what side they feel about you. They either really like you, or they don't. You don't really know until Scorpio's drunk, though. Because I've had a Scorpio do that to me, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Oh, Alright, well, the fuck you do then? Never spoke to that Scorpio again. Then they wonder where the fuck I was. <laughs> Let's see. 
So the situation, Ray, where someone had the wrong judgment about the web they weaved. Yeah, now they're trying to look like a martyr. Trying to look like, oh, I was actually trying to help you. And no, they weren't. Um, <laughs> yeah, they, they literally were acting like they were trying to help you, man. Look, like, look, they're trying to give you a fucking pentacle, but looking at you like you're a damn no. Look at them, stupid ass. What were they thinking? <laughs> Like, do you have the hangman right behind here? You know exactly what they were trying to do to hang you up. Scorpio and Cross Watchers. Down in a situation where someone was trying to manipulate things, but it came out fucking upside down and backwards. Worked any advantage of the person they were trying to work their mojo on? For sure. The, they were proud of their work at first. They were looking over it like, yeah, I did a really good job. This person's going to end up being my servant. Mm, eating out of the palm of my hand. You know, thinking that they can work through all the conflicts and shit. But behold, the door is open, but everybody already done left the wedding. Um, kept making excuses for shit, and that's why nothing worked out in their favor. So now they're probably going to have to find some way of fixing themselves. Or Scorpio and Crosswatcher, this could be you in the situation. I don't know, maybe they think they could kiss ass. But that doesn't work at all. In fact, it causes separation even more. Like, they worked hard to create this ass-kissing... Like, it's like they're gonna think up something to make you think that, like, they didn't mean to do whatever, Scorpion or Crosswatch, or whatever excuses they come up with. You're gonna notice that, like, um, that's not what the fuck I saw. You know, actions speak louder than words. You can tell me anything under the sun all day, every day. I have yet to hear you tell me anything that makes your reasons reasonable. You know, you can give me, a, like, you know, me as a Capricorn, you can give me an excuse in the world. But once I find out that you've done something that I wouldn't have done, you know, then it's just like, oh, well, I guess you're, you can live with, you can eat those excuses because I'm not taking your ass back after all that shit. You know, I hate that. I hate a motherfucker who's going to explain the reasonings for behind why they did it. <laughs> Rather than just coming up to me and telling me their issues before they go and do some ignorant shit. You know, you got a problem with me? You can come up to me about it. But don't go around my back doing shit and then coming up to me after you fucking do it with your fucking reasons. Like, you're not explaining shit to me. You're just trying to do can't damage control and cover your fucking ass. Now, that's not going to make me like you. That's going to make me think that you're a fucking snake. Little weasel motherfucker. Wants and wishes. This person's home for a message? Nah. It ain't coming. Um, get the, out of the cold by yourself, bitch. <laughs> like, this person's looking at you, Scorpio, like, how? why are they getting out by themselves but they ain't coming over to help me? Well, motherfucker, we all got our own paths. That's why. Um, pay homage to a motherfucker. Maybe you'll get somewhere. Hmm. Scorpio and Crosswatcher, is this person older than you? Because I feel like they expected you to give something to them before you take off or whatever. Or like you owed them something. Mm. Obstacles and challenges. You might have to take the emperor position. You might have to take the power position and cut this motherfucker off. Fix yourself because there's no point in trying to get any more out of this dude and just let the shit go. Deal with your own shit, I feel like, Scorpio and Cross Watcher. Because that could be you right there. You might have to, like, tell this person to go in order to fix yourself after the mess they created. Fears and rejections. Yeah, everything is closed up, everyone's gone, the door's open, and that's because, like, this person kept making excuses. Like, they missed the boat. Or the wagon. Yeah, they, they, yeah that's a wagon. They missed the wagon wagging that tail. Anyway, um... Ugh. I'm just saying, like, you know... Mm. I, like, I, I totally just want to say something right now, because, like, I can see somebody I know in this, but I'm not gonna say it, because, you know... I don't need to. How this shit starts, how it'll end. Sneaky shit did not work out, and now someone's trying to protect themselves after they tried to fuck someone else over, I feel like. Yeah. Might as well go for a new start somewhere else! 
<laughs> yeah, there's definitely somebody I know in this. There's definitely somebody I know, and it's just like, dude, like, you played yourself for sure, you know? Uh, Scorpio and Crosswatcher, this person's a fucking leech, you know? They look for people in weak positions. Hi. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Like, Scorpio and Crosswatcher, you're probably eventually going to be safe from this person. They might even go away. But I feel like they'll latch on to somebody else who's in a vulnerable position, just like they might have done to you. Or you might have done to them, either or. It could go either way, you know. Scorpio and Crosswatcher, that is. Um, but this person, like, looks for victims who are in positions of vulnerability. Tries to be kind and nice to them, you know. That's definitely what I'm feeling right here. It's like they'll take a new start with somebody else who needs to be infected, you know. And offer, like, a night. Like, I'm here to save you with whatever it is you might need. And it's just kind of like, dude... Let me tell you, if this person takes off and leaves you a fuck alone, you've dodged a bullet and you are very fortunate. But I feel like anybody else who deals with this person, um, oh god, they're in for a wild ride. This person's like a fucking mega karmic person. Like, people need to learn a lesson of not dealing with it. Like, they're really good. I feel like they're really good at um, playing the role of being somebody who's giving. But it comes with strings attached and a price. Scorpio, and you make people sign a waiver before they get with you, but at least you, like, give a disclaimer. This person doesn't even tell people half of the shit they're up to when they're up to, and then people get confused, and it takes a while. It's like they're a narcissist, but then people figure out they're a narcissist, and that's usually when they take the fuck off, is when people figure out their fucking game. So this person probably floats from job to job, person to person, so be very careful with that. Anyway... That's the end of your reading. Yay. So if you enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure from me, of course. It's all up to you. And thank you very kindly for watching my videos. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love your faces. And you take it easy. Bye-bye.